Sandra, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Good, good. Cool. Corey Fatima said to start. <laughs> oh, she's recording it anyways. Okay, cool. I'm like, sorry, I didn't see that. I'm gonna get my phone on the charger. Okay, so I'll do the same that I did last time and kind of push this back. I don't know if I just go that far back and then put it down so you can see my table. Okay, so we are starting with a t-shirt. So I know tons of arts and crafts things for t-shirts, so that's why we're using so much. And people always have a crazy amount of t-shirts that you don't use, so might as well use them. So we're gonna start with any t-shirt, and you wanna start at the bottom of the t-shirt. I have it flipped so you can see it. This is the bottom of the t-shirt. We wanna start where we are just Making strips, I don't know if you can see that, you can see it. So at the bottom of the shirt, you just want to cut, you can cut both sides together, front and back together, and you're just cutting strips. They don't have to be perfect strips, they don't have to be the same size. I would say about a half an inch is probably a good size. And you're just gonna cut strips, the whole shirt, all the way up to the top of the shirt. I would suggest doing two shirts if you have them, maybe two different colors could be fun. So I have a white shirt and I have a red shirt here when you do make this. I'm gonna do some of the white and some of the red. And you may not need the whole shirt either. I would say do probably about half of the shirt, especially if you're doing two different colors, do maybe just half of the shirt because you don't need that many strips. Now, if you have a big dog, you may want to make this, you know, thicker. If you have a little dog, I mean, there's not really much a little dog can do. My mother-in-law has a really big dog, so I make hers a little thicker for him. So however you get your strips, they don't have to be perfect, but you're trying to get strips like this, right? So however that is, cut your shirt up to get strips. You just want several of them. Again, don't have to be perfect. I'm again, I'm doing two different colors so that my dog toy can um, look kind of cool with two different colors. So I'm probably going to do maybe 10 strips each of each color. So a total of 20 strips is probably a good idea. But again, depending on how big your dog is, if you wanna make it thicker, maybe do 25 strips. 
Um, less, you can do less strips, of course. Um, it's completely on you. Now they're gonna be different lengths, right? That's completely fine. Um, a good length would probably be somewhere between um, 14 to 16 inches, but if you have some that are shorter, like this one, I know you can't see the whole thing, this one's probably like 10 inches, completely fine. Completely fine, it's, you know, it's not a professional thing. Even though it kind of looks professional when you're done. So I'm just cutting strips, more strips. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten of those. I'm just gonna go on and finish this shirt off since I have some left. Let's do eleven of those. So that's my first colored shirt. That's my white. Now I'm gonna go to red because I want two different colors to kind of make this a cool dog toy. What I like about this um, recipe, I always say recipe because I don't know, I never know what to call this, <laughs> is dog toys can be expensive. And, um, you know, and depending on your dog, you can spend 20 bucks on a dog toy. And by the end of the week, it's in shreds. And you're like, okay, well, there's 20 bucks down the drain. So that's annoying. So now I'm just making more strips from my red t shirt. I think this t-shirt was my husband's t-shirt, so it's a little longer, which is great. So I'm getting really good um, length of the, of the strips for this one. So that's cool. Okay, cutting, 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 cutting. So this is two, four, five. I'm gonna cut maybe five more of the red. Adam, how you doing over there with your strips? Thumbs up, thumbs down. <laughs> Good. <laughs> it gets really tattered very, very quickly, but that's fine. Okay, I'm almost there. The thing I like about this one is it doesn't have to be perfect. If you have 10, you know, one color, 12 of the other color, it, it's completely fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. A good way to see how thick your dog toy will be is as you're cutting strips, if you just kind of put them all together like this, so far I can tell like this is how thick my dog toy is gonna be. So if I'm like, oh, okay, you know, I have a poodle, this may be okay, but Again, my mother-in-law has a very big dog. Um, he's a pit bull, so I'm gonna add a little bit more strips on this one because he may tear up that bad boy kind of quickly. Not many more, but I'm definitely just gonna add a, a few more. If you wanted to do multiple colors too, like maybe three or four colors, that's completely fine. You'll see at the end um, how the colors um, play into it. Okay. I think I like the size of mine. I think I'm good here. So I'll wait a little bit. Um, but. While you're cutting strips, go on and cut two extra strips. They don't have to be long at all. Um, I'm gonna do one of each color, one red, and I'm gonna do one white. These are gonna be the strips that you're gonna need to um, tie the ends with, and I'll tell you what that means in a minute. So, clear off my workspace. So I have about 20 strips here, about 10 white, 10 red, give or take some. And then I have two other strips right here. These two strips are probably about five, six inches long each. These strips ideally are better if you have 14 to 16 inches each, but they're, they're probably some 10 inch, some 12 inches in here, completely fine. Um, the longer you make your strips, um, the longer your, your dog toy will be, clearly. And um, so, this length is gonna, you know, kind of come together a little bit. The final dog toy of mine will probably be somewhere around eight to nine inches. So, 
start there. Once you have your strips, and I'll go really slow to kind of give you some more time to finish cutting, you're gonna start laying them out where the ends all meet. Don't worry about this end. They're all gonna be different um, lengths on the bottom end, but this top end, let's lay them all out so that they're all, the, they're all starting at the same point. I would put all of your same colored ones together. So I'm gonna put all my reds together, and then I'm gonna put my whites together right next to them. That's a long one, that's fine. So I'm just putting them all together that they are, this is it. So they are all aligned. I actually, I think I told y'all in my last one that I used to be a arts and crafts teacher. It was my very first job when I was 17. My second job was I was a camp counselor for the YMCA <laughs> with kids. And so this was my first time making this was with the kids during summer camp. It was so much fun, they loved it. And then they, of course, they had to come back and make more if the dog, you know, tore it up. So I'm doing the same thing with my white strips and just kind of laying them all out. Some of my white strips are not as long as my red ones, but that's fine. Some of them that are like really, really short, I'm gonna pull out because if they're too short, then it's kind of pointless. Um, and then I'll see how many I have at the end. Like I have like maybe three that are kind of too short. My red shirt was my husband's shirt. My white shirt was my shirt. So his shirt is clearly longer than mine. So looking at the strips, I'm gonna cut a few more of the white strips because um, I have to take some out because they were too short. Again, I'm looking to try to have them within that um, 12 inch to 16 inch range. So I need to cut some longer ones of the white shirt. I'm gonna cut a few more strips. This is the most time consuming part. After you get your strips, you're good to go. So if you do do this with like children, um, I did this with my nieces once and their um, attention span is a lot shorter. I usually just have the strips already cut and ready to go for them so they can just jump right into the building of the toy. Um, and then they don't have to play with the, the scissors, which can be challenging with children. I'm gonna cut maybe one or two more white strips. And then we're gonna move on to actually building it out. One more. Okay. Sure strips. So all of my strips are lined up even at this side. Yep, Fatima, I see you getting yours together all even on one side, that's perfect. So you should be able to grab them and all of these are the same, at the same. This end is gonna be all over the place. You have some longs, you have some shorts, that's completely fine. So once you've gathered them on this side, let's look at this end and try to locate which one is your shortest strip. And if it's too short, pull it out. If it's you know short, but you're okay with where it is, that's where we're gonna have to cut. Like for instance, my short one is right here. This is my shortest one. Um, meaning, since that's my shortest one, I'm gonna have to cut all of this off, which I'm actually okay with. So, to recap, you have all of these held at the top right here. They're all aligned straight. You're gonna come to the other end, find your shortest one, mine is right here, and you are gonna cut across to even all of the rest all of the rest out with the shortest one. But again, if that shortest one is too short, just pull that bad boy out. Pull that one out, and then you can either replace it with a longer one or not. So then after that, you should now have two different colors if you did the different colors and they should be both even on this side and on this side. My tool, my full one, you can't really see this. It is about 13, 13 and a half inches, which is fine. I said I wanted it between 12 and 16 inches. So that's fine. 
So now that you have them even, you're gonna take those two stri um, strips that I told you to just put to the side. I have one of every each color. You are now going to tie the ends of your toy, your potential toy, with one of the strips. So if you see what I'm doing, I just have it underneath, making sure that this stays as even as possible. And then just tie, you're probably gonna have about a half an inch to three fourths of an inch of your tassels hanging off, which is perfect, that's what you want. You're just gonna tie that in a knot. Try to make that knot as tight as possible. Sometimes I even like tie it in a knot and then loop it back around like so, and then tie it in a knot again right here. Because if your dog is anything like mine, he's going to go to town with this thing. So try to make this as tight, tight as possible. And then if you have any left over, I mean, hey, it's a toy. You can leave them, you can cut them. I'm gonna cut mine to kind of level out with the rest of the tassels. So it's not longer than the rest. So this is what you should have moving forward. You should have a knot at the end with some of the tassels hanging out about a half an inch, three fourths of inch of the tassels. If any, you have anything longer, go on and cut that off. You want, you want this part nice and even and palm palmy. Looks very spirit flag. <laughs> okay, yay, Fatima looks good. Now you are going to braid the rest of this. Now the key part of this to make this a really good dog toy is this has to be braided as tight as possible. So different ways to do this, because if I start braiding right now, it's gonna go all over the place, right? You can either do what I would do if I didn't have you all and have my husband hold this in and I would braid real tight, or you can use some tape. I do have some right here. If you don't have any, then and you can do it later or just follow along. Tape. And I tape this down so that I can pull, 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 and it won't move. Well, hopefully it won't move. Sometimes it does pop on out and it's really annoying, but whatever. I, I'm just mindful of, I don't have someone here holding it. So. <laughs> so if you don't, you can try to braid it right now or get someone to hold it later on and you can braid it or put some tape down, either way. After you get it nice and secure, somewhat secure where you don't feel like it's gonna pop up at you. Um, you can start braiding. You're gonna take your fabric, of course, I have two different colors, and you're gonna put them into three parts, just like a braid. So I'm gonna have one that's all white strands, one on this side that's all red strands, and then I have one in the middle that's both. This is where the different colors come in handy. And then you're gonna start braiding. Okay, let me see if I remember how to braid. <laughs> You're gonna braid it really as tight as possible. I know it's hard if you don't have the tape or if you don't have someone holding it or if you're just braiding it freestyle. Um, but you want it as tight, tight, tight as possible. Now you see the different colors, kind of how cool it is with the different colors. And you've probably seen this dog toy like at PetSmart or in the grocery store and they're charging like 17 bucks for it. And it's probably someone at home just cutting up t-shirts I'm selling it to us and we have no idea. <laughs> so braid, braid, braid. Mine's getting pretty tight, so I'm happy about that. You may have some of your tassels come out like this completely fine. We will fix that later, don't worry about that. Uh, looks like Fatima got some help, that's good. <laughs> braid, braid, braid. Okay, I'm getting somewhat down to the end. I don't wanna braid the whole thing all the way to the end. So when I get about an inch and a half towards the end, kind of where I am right now, I stop. I hold it though, because I wanna keep this as tight as possible. And this is when you need that other strand that we talked about. Remember you had one up here? This is the second one. Pull your braid together just to get it together without loosening your actual toy. And then, it's, sometimes it's hard, you gotta play magician here. You need to tie a knot at the end of this one with your strand without loosening that braid. This is where it can get a little tricky. You have to put a finger down and try to hold it and, and then tie it. Same as this end, you want this to be as 
tight as possible. So again, sometimes I do a first night knot and then I go under to tie it again if my strip is long enough. I'll see if this one's long enough. Yeah, it is. You want it as tight, tight as possible so those dogs can throw it in the air and toss it up and down and oops, all over the place. Just like the bags that we made last week, what I love, love, love about this one is it's washable. So if you have a dog that isn't going to tear it to shreds, they're just going to play around with it and play fetch or whatnot, and it gets dirty outside, you throw it in the washing machine. It's just a t-shirt. So make this knot as tight, tight, tight as possible. Oh, it looks good, Fatima. After you've got that, you should have a nice solid braid. If you have any that popped out like this one, just go on and cut that off. Don't worry about it. And take the tape off if you have tape like I did. Now at the end, since we did the braid, your end is probably all frazzled, different lengths, all types of things. Go on and cut it so that it's nice and even. You just want nice and even tassel. Oh, that would be trash. And there you have it. That is your dog toy. Didn't it look just like one? Yay, here's a good Fatima. That is your dog toy. So you can play fetch with this. <laughs> you can, it can be washed. You can throw it around. It's nice and sturdy. This is a good size for any dog, I would say. But again, like I said, if you had a bigger dog, you could use more tassels um, and make this thicker, or you can make it smaller. Um, I've actually used this before with my dog, and it's, it's really, really great. It's, it, it's also great that you can wash it. So, any questions? Nope. Okay, well, looks like we're right at our time. So I will leave you all with this. Thanks for watching. Have fun with your animals. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.